Alright, what's going on guys? Luke Holsvar from Vic Brown Fitness and Performance. And today we're gonna do some cross country skiing. So no we're not. Alright, today we got subject B, Theo, aka Theodorus as I like to call him. But um it, a lot of the stuff we do here at Vigor too, I mean, uh, apart from you know a lot of mobility, soft tissue work, things like that, joint centration, all the good stuff that you need to get. But what we started implementing into warm-ups is just movement, right? I mean, one of one of the main goals of uh, for everyone is to move better. Move well, right? Move better, move more, right? So without pain. Now, obviously there's a lot of stuff that we do before this, but part of the warm-ups, we've start, started doing uh, some of the reaction drills also. You can do this with anybody, honestly. And there's a lot of modifications. We're just gonna go through some stuff that may be a little bit more advanced and you can scale it back. Uh, learned this from, uh, actually, Ido Portal, and uh, my brother went out to seminar, so we've implemented this into pretty much a, a lot of the stuff we do. But what Theo is going to do, uh, I'm going to start with one stick, right? And he's going to react to catching that stick, and he has to catch this stick low, right? He can't just catch it wherever. He's got to catch it like right before it drops, okay? Because that's going to make him get into position, low position, and he's going to react to it and find any type of way to get to it, all right? So I'll, I'll just throw a bunch of progressions. He's going to do a couple reps and everything, right? He's going to let it go. So try to catch it even lower. Good. So we're just gonna rep it. So he has to lunge out. Sometimes he might just have to squat low where he's at. Right. Nice. So we're working on hand-eye coordination. But he's also, like I said, he's got to work his hips and react. Okay. Now another thing that we can do is we can add in a movement. So right now, you're going to always do a deep squat, right? So you're just going to do a squat. Once you come up, I'm going to drop it. You're going to react the same way, all right? So deep squat first. React. Good. So as soon as you come back, I want you to go into that squat. And I'm going to start speeding up. Good. Go into that squat. Ah, react to it. Let's go. One more. Squat. All right, so and then you can make it challenging. Obviously, you want them to, to have to catch it. So now this time, you're going to turn around. I'm going to say turn, and then you're going to look for it, right? So same thing. Now with appropriate perception, awareness, and space, and hand-eye coordination with mobility. All right, turn. Good. Right back on. Go. Good. Go. 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 Nice. And break. Okay, so obviously, I mean, right now, you got a breath. Now, we, haven't even, we haven't even done a lot, right? But the thing is, so we did soft tissue work, did centrations, we did any corrective stretching. Now we're going into movement, right? So, you know, this comes start becoming a little more complicated, but I'm going to drop two at the same time, right? So ambidextrous, right? we got to start working both hands. And you know, so now it's kind of like it's starting to become harder. And obviously you progress people, like sometimes it might just be very simple. I still want them to drop me to catch them right before, right, right before. So we start playing with them and breaking, right? So you can progress these drills, um, but you notice, right? I'll just hold that for a second, you know, right? When it drops, I'm going to catch it here. Like, look at the, my reactive position, right? Where it's here, I might squat deep. I'm going to react into that position. And, of course, if, you know, if, if you're working with somebody that doesn't have those skills, you regress it, right? You, you let them catch it sooner, okay? You get a lighter stick that drops slower. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it to regress the movement. Okay, but you can start adding this. Imagine you can have a class of 30, 40 people. You need 20 sticks. I mean, we got about 20 sticks right there. 40 people can play this game for three minutes. I mean, we did it for, I don't even know, a couple of minutes, right? Theo started getting out of breath. He was working on mobility, hand-eye coordination. Think about the things that people lose as they get older, right? A lot of basically one out of every three, I think, people that fall after 50 years old breaks their pelvis. What if they had these reaction drills and these, mobi these mobility drills? And the thing is, it's fun, right? It's fun. You're not like, hey, go down, do this, do that. Sometimes it can get repetitive. But if you play, and that's why we implement a lot of movement stuff, like Edo stuff. Um, we do a ton of primal move here. And um, I'll throw in some more drills that you, know, uh, that you can use that are fun, that will get your people to move better, feel better, and like I said, get a sweat going in their warm-ups. All right, check us out for another, for another tip from Vigor Round. I'll see you soon.